more local coverage now live at 5. The rain has delayed the final phase of the Providence Viaduct project. The last lane shift here on 95 South near exit 21 was supposed to take place tomorrow. Instead, it will happen on Thursday. Meanwhile, another major traffic pattern change is set to take place as part of a DOT project in Warwick. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is live in the newsroom with what you need to know about both projects. Shannon, Mike, the DOT is moving all traffic on 95 South in Providence from the old bridge to the new bridge, one lane at a time. This is the third and final lane change on the southbound side, and the DOT promises this one will be the easiest. Right now on 95 South in Providence, there are two travel lanes on the new bridge and one on the old bridge. Starting Thursday, all three lanes of travel will be on the new bridge. I can't wait. And hopefully this stops, the mess is over, and, you know, we can actually, it will actually work. Hopefully it works for us. The change was supposed to happen Wednesday, but the DOT pushed it back to Thursday. Because of the rain, we're delaying it a day so that they could do the paint striping on the roadway surface properly. The first lane change last month led to backups and accidents. Southbound drivers were confused whether they should stay on the old bridge or get on the new one. But the DOT says this lane change will be easier than the other two because there won't be a fork in the road anymore. There will be no choices that they will have to make to either go left or right. The DOT is also making changes on another big project, the one at the Appenog Circulator in Warwick. For the last two years, the agency's been working on building five new roundabouts in Appenog Village. Starting Wednesday, southbound traffic is opening up for the first time on Post Road between West Shore Road and Post Road Extension. I actually think it's a great idea, and, you know, the construction seems to be, you know, going on for quite a long time, so I am kind of, uh, you know, looking forward to, uh, to it being done. The DOT is building these roundabouts in part to reduce accidents, but some people I talked to in Warwick aren't convinced that these changes will make the roads any safer. More on their concerns coming up new at 6. Live in the newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.